if revenge is best served cold, but you're not the one who's serving the plate, does it matter? Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, I'm Kyla Denango and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Today we are talking about the book Dying for Revenge. This is book number three in the Gideon series. The author of the book is Eric Jerome Dickey. So the genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense thriller literature. Now this is number three but in Dying for Revenge Gideon is still out doing his thing and we find him all over the place. He's in Antigua, he's in London again, and you're just like, dang, Gideon, what's happening now? And so one of the biggest plot twists in this book is that Gideon cannot get revenge twice. <laughs> he cannot serve up his own revenge. He gets help on the two biggest rivals that he has. And it's like, dang, this is so important because Gideon has to reconcile and say to himself, does it matter if it's done if I didn't do it? Can you feel at peace knowing that you weren't the actual person to tell them, leave me alone, stop dealing with it, right? You got your big sister who deals with it. Are you satisfied with that? Or did you just need to handle it on your own? So Dying for Revenge is an excellent, excellent title. There are multiple relationships, multiple situations in the book where other people want to get revenge, where they wanna go after someone, where they have an issue with a person. But most notably, there are two situations where Gideon distinctly does not get to handle revenge on his own. And so how does he deal with that? How does he feel about that, right? His whole job is being a contract killer, going after people who do bad things. like. Eric Drum Dickey does a really good job of making us feel empathetic for Gideon. We're cheering for him. He takes a lot of contracts against people that hurt kids. There's a lot of talk about, oh, I just need money. Oh, I'm trying to get money for this goal. But he also has a really strong moral compass where he's like, some people deserve to die. And those are the people that he goes after, right? If you just wanted someone to put down a horse, he probably wouldn't do that. Cause he does go after people who hurt the vulnerable, people who go after people who cannot defend themselves, right? So it makes you want to cheer for Gideon, want to root for him. Cause you're like, I mean, he keeping the streets clean, right? He's a vigilante. Well, I don't know if vigilante is a good thing. Let's see. And then just a little, a little bonus. A couple in the book are obsessed with sex in the city. The husband is talking about it all the time. The wife is talking about it all the time. And I'm like, yes, sex in the city, the movie. I went to see it with my husband back then when we were dating. Yes, yes, yes. So his books are so important because they always make you think about the person, right? Contract killer, husband and wife, cool. She loves this show. She wants to go to the premiere. Husband's talking about the premiere. It's like, Dang, when she's not out doing a job, she's just watching TV. And it's so comical because it's really funny to be like, they're just people. But that plays into Eric Drum Dickey's imagination that he humanizes his character so well. So another underlying tale, not really underlying, but another really important tale of revenge is with the killer who grew up in foster care and they are constantly trying to get out from under that shadow. So it is a sense of revenge where they want to come out and say, I'm established, I'm better, I am not who I was. It's like they're getting revenge on their old self, on their prior self that didn't have anything, that wore hand-me-down clothes. And it's like, Dying for Revenge was the perfect title because they're, the whole book is about revenge. Every single person wants revenge on something. Um, so with that said, would I reread this book? Yes. I absolutely love Gideon as a character. So if you like series, if you like to see characters over a series of stories, please pick up Dying with Revenge. This is number three of the Gideon series written by Eric Jerome Dickey. If you just like to read compelling stories, if you want to see some suspense, if you want to hear about Antigua, if you want to hear about all these things, pick up the book because it is so good. <laughs> now, Eric Jerome Dickey gives you enough detail to where you could pick up any of the books and completely catch up. You wouldn't have to read the prior ones. But if you really like to see characters change, develop, you know, go through all of the stuff, start with sleeping with strangers, waking with enemies, and then you'll get to book number three, which is dying for revenge. Okay. So thank you for hanging out with me today on Kyla's reading day. I will see you tomorrow for another installment of Vlogmas 2022. And thank you for watching Kyla's reading day.
拜。